Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. So, uh, finally back in the dungeon. I think it's high time we actually took a look inside, now that I'm probably free of goblin invasions for a little while. So apparently, there is some awesome loot that's just kind of hanging out here. Well, that lesser healing potion probably is not part of that. I'm just going to close the door so that the slime can't get in, hopefully. We'll come over here, take a look around. I could take some books, but I mean... Let's be, uh, let's be realistic. I don't really decorate my place that much. I can always come back if I want them later. And what's going on down here? Pot shards. More books. Oh, that looks like something special on the wall over here. What's up with that? Can I break it? Let's take out the hammer and see what's up with that. Put that there. Smash that up. And that is water candle. Holding this may attract unwanted attention. Hmm, well that's certainly ominous, but uh, you know, I'm not holding it right now, unless uh, having an in your inventory counts as holding it, so I'm not too concerned about, you know, whatever it's getting at there. There's another water candle, I'm going to pick that one up too, just because, you know, I like to invite danger into my life. I also like to live dangerously. Every time I go to a casino and play blackjack, I think of that scene. So keep going, ooh, what's up, uh, what's up with those, right? Spikes, okay. Can I have, can I mine those? Hey, hey, whoa, whoa! Whoa, Angry Bones. That is a that is a perfect name for that thing. Angry Bones. Get onto the spikes. And the skulls too, right? Hmm. Hmm. Well Oh, the arms dealer moved back that thankfully. I, I never thought he'd come back after the shame he he felt after dying in the goblin invasion. Six damage. There's six damage to these guys, huh? Hmm. Alright, let's go back into the fray. Again, I love Angry Bones. I think it's a fantastic name. Luckily, I, I stocked up on potions before I came down here. I got 30... Uh, well, oh, 30 uh, greater healing potions. Or I guess just regular healing potions. Did I... Oh, he's a, he's some kind of shaman type deal, is he? Yeah, I'm real scared. He's, like, he's one of the, the three enemy types in Terraria. Okay. Doesn't have a lot of health. I can live with that. Are you just gonna keep shooting at me? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take these guys down. What's their name? I didn't get a chance to see. They don't even do that much damage. Dark caster. Wow, lame. Okay, keep going deep into the depths of the dungeon. I cleared out a lot of my inventory before I came down here, so I should be uh, pretty good if I can pick up some loot. These guys seem pretty dangerous, though. Well, at least dangerous in the sense that uh, you know I've never dealt with them before, so I didn't really know how. Although that, <laughs> the knockback on this was pretty hilarious for that angry bones. Guess he can't get back up. Oh, does somebody not have a good jump? Who's a widow scared little angry bones? Right, keep going. Man, if, if I didn't kill him, he probably would have died from the shame. What's this? This looks like something, something new. Oh, I guess I'll just cast that again. Oh, it's just more books. I think, but that book looks a little bit special. I'm going to crack it open just in case. Book. Just a book. My mistake. Flamerang seems to be doing pretty well here. Also lights my way, which is nice. Because uh, certainly my uh, my light spell here isn't doing a whole lot for me. And then what am I going to do here? Unfortunately for me, I'm kind of an idiot. And I left all of my wood back at my, uh, my apartment. What am I going to say my apartment? My... Uh, well, it is kind of an apartment. I do have a lot of people living in uh, in one domicile. It's like Three's Company over there. Pick up those bones. Uh, now we've got bones and wood. Uh, how many how many double entendres can we make out of that? I love juggling these guys. It makes me feel like I'm playing Super Smash Brothers again. Now, I gotta get into this room. And I'm hoping this... Oh, okay. Well, that answers my question. I was gonna say, I hope this isn't like Mega Man. I hope the spikes don't kill me instantly. Hey, shitheads. I need to get in there. Hey, uh... Can I borrow some of this pot off you guys? <laughs> God damn, actually, it's gonna be kinda hard to get in there. This isn't like hell, where, like, in hell, only two enemies can spawn at once. Look at this shit, this shit's crazy! Come on. I mean, I'm, I'm not being, uh, that guy who's just like, Oh man, I can't believe what's going on in this Let's Play. Uh, I actually had no idea what was gonna happen here, so... You know, this is all news to me. I actually made it in, let's crack open these pots. And open this door? I was not expecting that, but let's let's do it. Okay, keep it up. 
Burning skulls aren't really a, a serious problem. They die pretty quickly. There's a chest there. I'm definitely going to get in on that action. What do we have? Magic mirror. All right. You can never have too many of those to accidentally summon yourself back to your base. Getting pretty good with the aim on this this bad boy right here. It's so quick, too. Flamerang is definitely my favorite weapon so far. Anything else in here that I need? Books, spikes, big deal. I need to see if I can mine those spikes. That would be... I don't know. Probably a disaster waiting to happen. Let's see. Alright, you can't just break the blocks behind them. Maybe you actually have to hit them with a hammer and it'll take them down. Let me clear out these angry bones and then we'll, we'll get into that. Figure out what's up with that. Okay, take out the hammer. Should really upgrade that at some point. Wow, you gotta do a lot of damage. Oh, those, those still hurt you. Alright, well, I'll take the time to mine these out. At least a few of them. I'm sure this, this could end up being a good trap for me someday. And luckily my hammer is protecting me right now while I, while I mine them. Really need to upgrade this at some point. I can't, I can't continue to... Man cannot live on stone hammer alone. And this might be iron hammer. I can't remember. Or arm and hammer baking soda. Anything would be better than this. Angry bones. You gotta get over yourself, man. Take some anger management classes. Nobody likes you when you're like this. Guess what, asshole? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I bet he's pissed. Let's continue into the depths of the abyss here. He's got juggled. Keep going, keep going. Spikes, green bricks. Another chest. I'm into that. I'm into what he's offering. Let's see what we got here. Copper bars. Band of Regeneration, which I already have three dozen of. Might as well take the torches. Copper bars. Honestly, I don't really care about copper bars at this point. What's this purple potion? Is that is that mana? I don't really require mana. At least, uh, I don't yet, but uh, I definitely don't require mana potions. I'll build those as necessary. A la carte, if you will. Instead of a... a pris I'm not even going to try to... Get, like, uh, endanger my knowledge or endanger the perception of my knowledge of Halta Cuisine by me trying to pronounce French. You know, as a Canadian, you'd think I'd speak better French than I do, but I don't. I, apparently, I don't speak English very well either, based on the shoddy construction of that sentence. How deep does this thing go? That's what he said. And by he, I mean the boy who fell in the mine shaft. Very tragic story. It was just a prank. They found him in a barn later. All right. Once I get into the twelve monkeys references, I think I'm I'm running on empty when it comes to commentary, commentary fuel. And when I said commentary fuel, I almost wanted to make a the water boy reference. So clearly, uh, I'm on fumes right now. So there's another chest in here. Oh, and another life crystal. And it's in a spot where you can pretty easily get it. You know, just surrounded by 5,200 spikes that actually have enemies standing on top of them. This part's pretty fun right here. Oh, my light just go out? Alright, I gotta recast that as soon as possible. Angry bones, man! Why are you always so angry? <laughs> okay, that's that's one way to handle it. Oh, they can open doors! I'm sure some smartass knew that before. Uh, we dropped a mana star! I thought, maybe not. Alright, so uh, clearly closing doors isn't gonna do anything, so I've just gotta get the hell out of here, basically. Angry Bones, man. I'm, I'm really disappointed in you. I thought we'd, we'd turned a corner in our relationship. Dynamite, Jester's Arrows, big deal. I don't need those. Am I, am I late coming to the dungeon? All this stuff doesn't seem that useful to me. I'm just going to come up here. And then uh, rain arrows down on them. Get out of there! It's the closest I've come to calling someone a jabroni in 15 years. Okay, could you seriously just move for a second? I've just got to mine this uh, this life crystal. I wish the spikes hurt them. That would make this a little bit more feasible. There's literally there's fucking like thousands of them every time I try to do anything. I mean, actually, I guess I should definitely pick up that life crystal. I'm not going to abandon it down here. But, uh, you know, I'm thinking I'm getting getting pretty high on life right now. And I don't, I don't mean it. Okay, break it, break it. Hmm. <laughs> Got myself into a pretty interesting situation here. Should probably drink a potion first before anything else. 
Yeah, how am I gonna do this? Let's let's regroup. Let's come out here and regroup. I don't want to deal with this guy right now. Get out of here. Thank you. Okay. Come inside. I gotta build myself a little path out of something. Do I have, I have green bricks? Okay, I can build myself three green bricks on something. I should really just mine out like a, a lava mode here or something. Okay, three green bricks. Up, up, up. That's not really how I wanted to do it, but I'll live with it. Because I think I can now get close enough to the, the thing to bust it up. Yes. Okay. Problem solved. And I guess I'll... Might as well consume that right away. And then we'll just get the fuck out of here, because Jesus Christ, these guys are ornery. Okay, here we go, move our way out. I thought I was so smart back there when uh, I closed the door on that skeleton and ran away. Little did I know, I just despawned him. I didn't actually trap him in there. Some more pots. Rolling in silver and gold right now. The angry bones, <laughs> bones has like a lunge. Um... Pretty interesting. Not that much different from the skeleton, really. Let's take out the grappler for this. Another treasure chest. I want to get some uh, some excellent loot. I hear there's some like cool swords down here. Uh, that would be useful because I could definitely upgrade or use an upgrade for my uh, my homey blade here. Gold coin, obviously I'll take that. Oh, I should really deposit some of that money. Magic missile. All right, that's gonna be cool. No question about that. I'll show that off at some point. Hopefully in this video. Maybe, you know, I'll get a chance right... Well, I'll wait till I go home. Go uh, go to my in-game home, I should say. Because shit's a little bit uh, a little bit rough right now for me. But the dungeon isn't really that, that hard. I mean, I guess I'm lucky I have all these potions on the ready. But otherwise, not so bad at all. Okay, really? Really, man? I should just get my flamerang out again. I like to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll just jump down here to this huge-ass clusterfuck. Seriously? Seriously? There's like five angry bones on me right now. That <laughs> that sounds like a, what a porn star would say during a world record attempt gangbang. Bust up these pods, keep going. Must be getting pretty close to the edge of the dungeon. Maybe? I don't know. I'm happy I got that magic missile though, that's gonna be interesting. If you don't know, the magic missile basically is a, a projectile that uh, you can control, so like I can steer it myself. Okay guys, seriously, you back off for a second. I just want to loot your home world. What do we got in here? Oh, excellent sword, okay, and two gold coins. I'll definitely pick those up as well. So let's replace our sword with this sword and put two gold coins there. So this is the Mira Miramasa. Arms dealer was slain, man! You gotta stop jumping in that lava! Alright, so this uh, it's basically just fast as hell. It does a little bit more damage than the lightsaber, or sorry, the face blade, you know, copyright pending, um, but it's a lot faster, so that makes it much more useful. Oh, and another life crystal, excellent. Really racking them up here. I think this has been a, by far my most productive run in Terraria, but if I had a nickel for every time I said that, um, you know, I'd have heavy pockets, if you know what I'm saying. Keep going, keep going. Another chest in here. Does door equal chest? I don't know. Let's see. Keep going. Bust him up. Miramasa is pretty cool. Extremely fast. I can get behind that. Really chopped up that guy pretty good. Diced him like a Chef Tony blade. And another chest. Okay. Maybe I should have cleaned out my inventory even more than I did. There's another sword in here, it looks like. Another, another cool item, anyway. Oh, listen to that click, 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 baby. Sounds like I'm, I'm racking up credits at the Tekken machines. There we go. That sentence made literally no sense. Um, but if you don't think about it, then it sounds really sensical. How am I gonna get, get out of this one? All I wanna do is take the thing from the chest. I think now's my chance, okay. Give me the Aqua Scepter. It sounds like a fucking toothpaste brand. Now, you know, I used to use Crest, but now I've switched to Aqua Scepter. I find it really gets, uh, offers better plaque protection. Closing the door, I know, doesn't really do any good, but shut up. Makes me think it does. And I'm, I'm gonna try to equip that as soon as I can, but first I gotta get the fuck out of here. Mm, I don't think I want to go this way, even though this is a uh, unexplored territory right now. I think I want to continue going deeper and deeper. I've only used, what, six potions so far? Not so bad. 
Uh, let's equip this thing really quick. Is this a sword? What is it? it? Uses 12 mana. 12 mana! You think I made a mana over here? What number is it? Number 7. Wow, okay, well... I mean, that's cool, I guess. Probably not super useful for me. You'd think the heads that were on fire would probably take a little bit more damage from a jet of water, but... Yeah, I digress. Really digging this sword so far. The only downside is that it doesn't provide me with... Uh, oh, I don't have enough mana to even cast my light right now. Oh, I guess I'll just wait it out. Hey, maybe I did need that mana potion back there. Uh, the only downside is that it doesn't produce any light, which... was, uh, you know, a nice feature in the phase blade. Maybe, maybe in the uh, Miramasa 2.0 they'll work out those bugs. Let's cast this. Keep going down into the depths of this dungeon. It's gone on a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought it'd be over pretty quick. Alright, I'll just eat it on those spikes, basically. I think it's pretty clear that I've uh, mostly mastered the enemies that are in here, unless of, you know something legendary comes along. Going in, don't really need any potions, but I mean, probably could be picking these up. I'm trying to be a little bit stingy with my inventory, because you never know what I'll find here. Oh, there's another chest. More interesting things. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Silver bars, not really concerned. Handgun? I will pick that up. Because I know by combining a handgun with uh, some hellstone bars, you can create a, a really powerful pistol. Uh, pretty much owns the rest of the game. Leave everything else in the treasure chest. I don't really need silver bars right now. Maybe if I decide to decorate my house a little bit more, I'll eventually get into that. But for now, it's not really necessary. Really? Really? What? You brought this on yourself. I know I'm missing a chest up there a little bit. I'll go back for it, I promise. What's in here? More bars. I'll take the gold coins. Because I do want to purchase a mini shark at some point in my life. But... And Okay, let's go back before I, uh, before I go too much further. Literally, uh, I'm actually running into these guys. There must not be, not be very much knockback on the sword. 24 gold, man. It's going to be a shame if I die down here. And now because I've said it, it's of course destined to be... Yo, you picked a bad day to be here, Shaman. Sorry, Dark Caster. Yeah, I play Dungeons & Dragons. I'm a Dark Caster. No offense to anyone who does play Dungeons & Dragons. That shit is actually pretty cool. I'll take this blue moon right here. I don't exactly know what it does, but, uh, you know, can't hurt to have it, obviously. I meant to get to kill all these guys before I get a chance to try it out. Jesus, most of my damage is taken from running into these guys as I'm mowing them down. Let's put this thing. No mana. I can get behind that. Put that here in the zero with slot. It's been a while since I said that. How does this work? It just looks like a ball of hurt, but, ooh, whoa. It is a big ball of hurt. Where I nicknamed my left testicle before I had surgery. That joke is gonna mean a lot more sense to people that I know. Well, okay, you know, it's a cool weapon. I can get into it. Why is this guy taking so much damage? I don't remember him, him being able to take that much abuse. I've reached a dead end. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, I understand I'm stepping on spikes right now. Okay, so we've reached a dead end. You know what, let's do a little bit more exploring before, uh, before I call it a day here. I'm gonna go back to the Miramasa. If I explored the entire dungeon, I'm pretty sure I missed a corridor somewhere, but I'm not sure where it. Hmm. Maybe not. Is this where I got that treasure chest with the, uh, the I forget in it? Yes, it is. Hmm. Well, maybe I've done most of the exploring in the jungle. Or, sorry, in the dungeon. So I guess the next thing to do is go to the underground jungle. I think I got a pretty good haul here. Let's basically head back to base and check some of this stuff out. Whoops, my apologies. I uh, struck my microphone a little bit there. Well, it's been 27 videos without any significant audio problem like that, so, you know, kudos. So let's test this out. First we got the prison that was totally failed. Miramasa. Looks cool. Take a look. 22 damage, fast speed. No kidding. And we've got the Aqua Scepter. 15 damage, uses 12 mana. Cool beans, right? Not really, I mean, it's like a shittier super soaker. Here we go, this is the blue moon. 30 damage, slow speed. Unless you hit it against something and then it goes pretty fast. Um, water candles, bones, handgun, okay, this is what I was looking for. So you take the handgun here, let's check this baby out. Fires pretty fast, I feel like I'm in an NWA video right now. 
And that'll probably be it for this video. I think I've pretty much uh, destroyed the dungeon. This is also the ultimate way to garden. Fuck you, weeds! Um, whoa, what about this one? You wanna die? You wanna die? Yeah, you didn't see me, but I turned my mouse sideways to execute that plant. Um, yeah, so this has been, you know, part 336 of Let's Play Terraria. I will see you guys next time when, I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna do, but at some point in the near future, I'm definitely gonna have to tackle the underground jungle. And then, you know, I'm not sure what, what's gonna come after that. Maybe there'll be a new update and more places for me to explore. But in any case, thank you guys for watching, as always. I will see you next time.